Here he is, the number one UFC welterweight contender. He has never fought for the title before, but on the strength of a long winning streak, he has arrived at the precipice of a world championship. He's been working so long to put himself in this position. He has been working so diligently to try to earn himself a shot at a championship. Tonight he gets that opportunity. He is a well-rounded fighter. He's so tremendous in all aspects of mixed martial arts. I cannot wait to see him compete and try to become the champion. And I'm not sure that any athlete in this welterweight division has handled adversity, professional and otherwise, as well as this man has. He is forged as he hits the proving ground for his first UFC title fight. being a great equalizer in MMA, but length and reach is another one. He's got a great jab. We'll see if he can employ it tonight. You have got to be born with it, right? You don't get taller. When you're a tall guy, you have to understand, make your skill set match your physical abilities. And this guy has done this tremendously. put that size to good use, and he certainly did so then. Beautiful counter with the punch there, and certainly making good use of what is an obvious edge in reach. Big shot lands for both guys. Great defense on this play there. Jab alerted his opponent. Oh, looks like he's got a cut above the eye here. Good job keeping that head off the center line. Slips to avoid the right hand. Man, he's got good hands. Beautiful strike there. Oh, side kick. Well done. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Strong roundhouse kick there. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Oh! Huge kick to the head. Battle back. Beautiful body kick. I mean, the hand speed, just absurd. Oh, nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Great punch. Yes, yes. 
trying to kick the leg out. Keeping him honest with the jab. Went for the inside leg kick. Back and forth we go. Unable to connect there. Oh, slips and then rips him. How about the upper body movement there? Straight right is there. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. Lands a nice leg kick. So some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to start to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack. Not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now and it's starting to show itself. Well, now these kicks are really starting to pile up since he found his range. This could be trouble. You saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Oh, and he caught the kick. Oh, now lands a kick to the body. Ten seconds to go in the round. All right, that's the end of the round. Clearly a cut sustained there on his forehead, courtesy of that strike. So the cut man will have to close that up and try to prevent it from becoming an issue here as this fight moves forward. All right, back to the stools between rounds. That gives us time to look back at some of the replays, including some of those strikes that caused the damage, particularly to his forehead. Damage to the forehead. Expect a lot of blood. But when you look at him, he looks like he still wants to be in there. It does not seem like the blood is affecting him. Now, you could want to be there as much as you can, you want to, but you got to do things better defensively, or ultimately he's going to get you out of there. He's got to move his head, he's got to stay off the center line, and he's got to press forward, put his opponent on his heels. All right, put well. All of a sudden, we got a new storyline in this one, the cut on his forehead. We will keep an eye on it as this next round gets underway. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully, the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Nice round up on the There's a kick. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. That leg kick lands. His misses are entertaining. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be a stationary target. So even if the feet aren't moving, you got to be ready to slip that head at a moment's notice. His work, guys. Straight right hand now just misses. Big power shot there. Oh, nice. Oh, and so now he lands another combination, so it's never just one shot. There's always two or three coming behind. A lot of times people throw singular strikes. Not this, gentlemen. This man is stringing four, five, six in a row. What a great job. We march on three minutes to go. Just missed with the left there. Finds his range with the jab. It's 
checks the leg kick. Just misses with the jab there. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bottom. Down defense holds up. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook a little bit. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that finish. Oh, he slipped well there to avoid the left hand coming back. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. A minute and a half to go round two. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Ah, oh, he's been working hard defensively. Kick block there. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Hey, hey. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Under a minute to go. Straight punch. Useful. Job blocking that one. Lands a big elbow there. Oh, beautiful one two punch. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And the horn sounds on round two. All right, there's the end of the round. I'm looking over to my left, UFC President Dana White. I think he's making out the bonus check right now. Incredible back and forth action. Sign the check, boss. These two <laughs> young men deserve 50,000. Hell, let's give them each 100,000 for the performance that they just put on in one round. Both were hurt. Both were able to withstand the punishment, and I can't wait until the next round gets started. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting it over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go. Third round of this championship fight. There's a kick. Jab lands. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Tremendous body kick lands for this guy. Hey. Try to establish that jab. Well, the most significant stat in this fight, and you can see it right there in plain sight, bottom of your screen, the body strikes. His opponent has had absolutely no answer. He hasn't lowered his guard with the elbow whatsoever, and I'm not sure how many strikes to the body he can take before he ends up crippling here. We'll see. Oh, nice slip, and then the counter finds its home. So really starting to put it all together on the feet, and as his coaches suggested, making good use of his reach advantage. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. That is a damaging kick that lands. 
Oh, here's the head kick, it's blocked. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Tries the flying knee to no avail. Nice block. Oh, nice combination of strikes there. In terms of the accuracy, I mean, that's exactly what a coach is looking for. That's exactly, it's like the guy is hitting pants. It's like he's hitting both the spits, but instead, he's dancing all over his opponent's face. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Just over two minutes to go. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many bodies. Hurt again. He's hurt. He's hurt. Oh, he's wobbling now. Oh, nasty cut there, right on the bridge of the nose. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. Oh, he goes with the punch and he lands. Oh, that was a fierce elbow. That's a heck of a strike to land from bottom position. Making all these shots count. Are working on the ground here, his opponent's feet on the hips. Motioning for his opponent to stand back up here. Well, not sure if I should knock his fight IQ, but it seems like he's sort of playing around here. Feels like the finish is there for the team. Yeah, the finish is there. And he needs to take his time to try and find it. Don't rush, be patient. And in that patience, you'll find a punch or kick that will put your opponent out. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV. But every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you've got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something. Because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to deal with this cut. And now, all the blood that's coming from the cut. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Great kick to the body. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, so he gets knocked down, but not out. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. A huge round on the other side. He had him hurt very bad. He found the shot. He got exactly what he wanted. When he saw the opening, he jumped on it and he hurt his opponent very bad. If he can get back to that one more time, he may end the night. You ready to fight? You ready? We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go, fourth round of a possible five. This is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean off the heart, and see who has the other. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test a fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the octagon. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh, big hook. That'll leave a mark. Get the elbow. 
Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. Go after the cut. End this fight. End it. Clean punch. All right, so a knockdown for him in the previous round, and you can just see by his body language how confident he is in the striking realm in this matchup. And you can see his confidence in his posture, but also you can see the effect that knockdown had on his Working the body with the elbow. Hard to win MMA fights off of your back, but these strikes are useful from the bottom. Pretty athletic off his back to avoid that strike from the top. Oh, another beautiful body shot there. You see the damage starting to accumulate. Maybe some defense would be wise at this point. But... I think so, John. You can't just get beat up to the body. It doesn't show itself right away. It takes time whenever you're beating somebody up from the body and working your way up to the head. But right now, we are starting to see the damage. Oh, no! oh look at that. He left up and landed the diving punch to the head. Well, this is not football. Targeting is legal, and he is going at that cut, which is getting worse with every passing ground strike. That's a big strike right there. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Nice kick, yep. But he needs to check one of these kicks. He has to discourage him from throwing this kick over and over again. Oh, he just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really effective with their strikes. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Nice block. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So, maybe... Oh! Oh, do it! Back to the drawing board for him, but for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight.